I added this foldable top deflector as a way to shut off the wind flow to the turbine. Uh, I tended it as a safety precaution so I could shut it off because the last time I had it going it ran pretty wild and burned out the other hoverboard wheel generator and now if you hear this one the bearings are going out on this next one too. I'm not sure how much longer this wheel generator is going to last. It actually quit generating too. Sounds pretty bad. That's just the charge that was left in that capacitor. It kind of just stopped <laughs> charging now. So I'm going to have to do something different. Sounds like a clock ticking. Well, without that wheel motor on there, generator, this actually is pretty quiet. Backside, the wind is from the northwest today. Just a little bit of a breeze, not much. So I kind of made like a little roof over this turbine and then I just mounted some hinges up there on each side so I can shut the wind flow off to this thing when I want to. Now I thought dropping that down like that would be enough to stop the rotor completely, but it doesn't. It's still spinning pretty good. And I think it's just the air gliding across this up into it. So in order for me to stop it, I just got to stick a wedge in there. can stop it. But it does start up again just with a little bit of flow through there. And if I engage this thing. I tried spraying some lubricating oil in there, but that didn't help anything. Pretty good drag on there, and it's not doing anything. This is still going. Disconnect that. Pretty quiet without that wheel motor rubbing on there. I feel a lot better now that I got a way to turn off most of the air going to the wind turbine. And that is kind of protected from the rain and snow too when I want it to be. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for my powertrain yet. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you know I put this uh, wind turbine together as a test bed. I wanted to test uh, wind deflectors for a vertical axis wind turbine. But I set it horizontally just because it was easier. And i just using scraps that I have around here. The turbine itself was just made with a sheet of plywood and some 6-inch duct tubing. And it cost about 100 bucks. And the rest of this is just scrap lumber and stuff I had around here. 
But now that I got this put together, I'm starting to like the way this is performing and actually the way this is built because it's so easy to build. When I built this turbine, I just planned on turning it into the wind by hand. I can just push on this and direct it where I want. I have a pivot over here and the turbine itself is downwind of the pivot and I noticed if the breeze is strong enough, this will align itself into the wind. Now I just have some little casters underneath here, but I think if I had some bigger wheels, it would turn into the wind by itself a lot easier. And this turbine is still turning, even though I got the majority of the wind blocked off and there really isn't hardly any wind blowing right now anyway but i did start testing this a little bit earlier when we had a little bit of wind and before the bearing went bad on my little wheel generator i have two lanterns as a load and what i was getting i was getting about 10 watts in about 11 mile per hour wind well i thought i was going to get a good demonstration on this video with the uh, wind turbine, but my powertrain failed. This is the other wheel motor generator that I had on there to begin with. Then it got damaged when we were getting some 20 mile an hour winds. It just, it couldn't handle it. And the, I don't know if a winding broke, burned out, and then got jammed up in between the rotor and stator. But this got jammed up just solid. It wouldn't turn anymore. Then I replaced it with the other one, and all that one has gone too, the bearings have gone out. So I'm gonna have to figure out another kind of powertrain for this wind turbine. Now the size of this wind turbine, there's not gonna be a whole lot of power to it. But if everything works out pretty good, this is something I could scale up pretty easy. It's built pretty simply, you just need a bigger rotor. And I do like that deflector I put on top there. I like it how I can shut off the wind flow to it. I think it's a good safety measure. I can never do that with my other ones I had built before. But this one I can shut the wind off to it and I can get it to a stop and it's not going to get damaged then in a storm. So this is where I'm at right now and I'm going to keep working on it. I'll keep trying different kind of ideas on it and I'll update you when I have something new to report. So thanks for your time and I'll see you again.